Do you know what an axolotl is? Here's one right behind me, swimming around in the water. So today you're gonna to not only find out something about axolotls, you can actually draw one. I'm Rita Goldner and I'm an author and illustrator of children's picture books. So I have a special place in my heart for animals, especially wild animals. And you'll see most of my videos and most of my children's picture books have something to do with animals. So you'll notice I've got one behind me. I've even got fishy earrings and my underwater shirt. So let's get drawing. You'll just need a regular piece of white paper. Computer paper is fine and a red pencil and also a regular number two black pencil. You could also use a black marker if you'd like, but you don't need it. You also won't need an eraser. In fact, I recommend against it because it'll just confuse the sketch. I'm starting with a photograph of an axolotl and I'm just outlining shapes in red. Not thinking of them as an arm, a leg, or a tail, but just shapes. And then on a regular piece of white paper with a red pencil, I'll copy those same shapes in the same positions they are. So that'll give you a guide to make your drawing. Now, when you're doing your drawing and you start with the red shapes, you don't ever erase. Just keep going. As you can see, I've made a million mistakes, as many as I want. And if I get confused, I just put a red X where I don't want the line. And I use that mistaken line as a guide so I'll know where to put the next line as a correction. <clears throat> I'm just following along, copying the shapes that I put on the photograph of the axolotl. While we're doing this drawing, I'm going to throw in some fun facts. If you're familiar with my YouTube channel, you know that I love finding unusual and sometimes even bizarre animals, not just because they're interesting from a science viewpoint, but also because they're kind of inspiring, especially if they have to jump hurdles to even survive. And if you throw in that they are in an endangered status, I'm hooked and I become a big fan. The axolotl, I have more trouble pronouncing than drawing. They're about 10 to 12 inches long and they live their whole life in the water. In the wild, they are only in a lake near Mexico City called Xochimilco. They're critically endangered in the wild and they only live in this one lake system. But oddly enough, you can buy one online as a pet for $46.95. They do breed well in your own aquarium where you're feeding and protecting them. But in the wild, they're not doing so well. They are really unusual looking and are sometimes called the smiling pink amphibian or sometimes called the human fish because their body looks like a human body. In ancient Aztec civilizations, people thought that Axolotl was a god that had changed his form to escape captors who wanted to sacrifice him. But now the descendants of these ancient axolotls are having a tough time escaping pollution and predators in the complex of Xochimilco Lake. Back to the drawing here for a minute. You can see I'm going over the red lines that I like with a dark black pencil or black marker and ignoring the red lines that I didn't like and also adding a few details here and there like the little hairs around their gills. One really odd thing is that axolotls stay as a larva their whole life. Other amphibians start out life as a larva and as they mature into an adult they can come out and walk on land. 
axolotls never mature to that state, so sometimes they're called the Peter Pan of amphibians. So next Monday the 15th is World Hippo Day. Guess what I'll be drawing? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed finding out something about axolotls. And if you like this kind of video, these drawing instructions and this little bit of nature information, then please subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell below so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Thanks.